Now, most of you may have seen the TV series, and even I included have seen the TV series, so this game is hugely based off of that, and there will be a lot of spoilers to that to those who haven't actually seen it or anything like that, so be warned there. But, um, yeah, when I found out there was a game of this, I only found out two weeks ago there was a game of this. I didn't know there was a game or anything like that uh, related to the Dark Crystal. Or I knew there was like the TV series um, that only went up to, was it season one and then it got cancelled, something like that. But either way, yeah, I actually enjoyed the actual um, show and, uh, and I thought it was really brilliant. A good callback to the old movie. And yes, I have been a fan of the Dark Crystal since, ooh, I was a pup when it first came out sort of thing. Well, I wouldn't say when it first came out because I probably would have been too young then, but... Oh, I can't remember what age it was, but I know it's sometimes somewhere in the 80s I actually saw it and I just absolutely enjoyed it. Plus, it's made by the Jim, Jim Henson <laughs> Company. Oh, I've fucked up on the name there, I apologise there. <laughs> Plus, it's made by the Jim Henson Company, so... Um, you know, anything made by the maker of the Muppets and such, you know... It was just brilliant back then. But anyway, let's get on to the actual um, campaign. Now, I only played a little bit of this to make sure it all worked with my OBS and such, because at the moment my OBS has been a little bit temperamental, but hopefully I've ironed out all the kinks. What have I never had any technical problems? Anyway. Uh, what? Wait, what? What? Oh. I got Okay. Now, obviously, there won't be any like talking or anything like that in this, so it would mostly be all in text and such. Although, I did have to turn the music down uh, to a, a slight, just in case of. Um, I'm not sure if I will get like copyright um, claimed on it or what. But if it does, uh, then obviously I can easily sort that out. It's not a problem. But I don't think it will. I will tell you, if you are thinking of actually watching the show for the first time in that, there may be some parts to it where you'd be like questioning and such because you're not too familiar with it. Or you may even look at the designs of certain characters and go, ooh, you know, these look a bit, you know, weird or something like that. But that's the whole point. It's obviously Jim Henson's um, work, you know. He, whenever he did create a story, especially like with characters from like, I think The Dark Crystal was the best example. It... He, he always did come up with quirky like characters or even randomers. I mean, look at the um, labyrinth and such, you know, the puppets used in that. They were quirky and odd and weird, but they were good weird, good quirky and such. And it's the sort of stuff that I actually liked. Anyways, what I've got to basically do is just basically select a place. Um, I only can select there for the time being. Um, at the moment, you'll be seeing me going through the tutorial, but I'll try and rush through that if I can. But um, don't hold me to that. And yes, I do tend to waffle on, so you have to um, forgive me on that. But hey, that's me in a gen that's me in a nutshell. Ugh. All right, let's go. To oh no, nope, skip that. I was already done, didn't it? That's the scene. Whoops. Stupid. There we go. Uh, something has turned the gentle Orlok savage. So, yep, easy enough. Now, if I was to be honest, my favourite um, characters has been since the Dark Crystal era has been the Skeksis. I always found them quite fascinating, even though, yes, they were terrifying and ugly and such like that. But I always found them quite interesting in that. And even though that they were corrupted and kind of like represented certain people in the world, I'm not going to say in case I get in trouble for it, but you may get what I'm talking about. But yeah, I did actually... That wasn't nice. I did actually like um, how they actually portrayed them. My favourite was the, um, the general back then, and he still is my favourite in this one. I'm not sure if he's a different general compared to the other one in the movie. So, But some people are saying that he is the same. But either way. Right, so it looks like I'm going to have to deal with these creatures, eh? Easy enough. Now, luckily the music's not too loud, so... It shouldn't um, overpower my voice or anything like that. Anyway, um, right, I've got to get she gun and go through this. Now I can eat it. Oh, what's it telling me? Right. I'm not paying attention, am I? Uh, anyways, I read da 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 da. Can I skip this? No. Oh, yes, I can. It says skip right there. 
Right, in that case. It's just basically teaches you how to um, do all the fighting and such. Uh, the reason why I'm re-educating myself because I've um, already forgotten already. Yeah, two days and I've already forgotten. I swear my brain's like a sieve at times. It just loses its memory quite easy. Just goes through the holes. Right, just move to the square. Easy enough. Wait. Oh, I need to click on the character first, then go to move. There you go. Now... I would say um, this game, from what I heard from the reviews, it is a, a tactic RPG based game. Uh, it plays similar to how XCOM plays, but I would say more Final Fantasy-ish tactics. So if you're into those sort of games, this would be definitely for you. But I would say this game is sort of like made mostly for the fans of here and such like that. And if you're the fans of the actual show, you will understand the lore and all a lot behind it. Those who are new, it may take time to actually understand the actual um, whole lore behind the Dark Crystal and such. Oh yeah, I forgot this one of them that's um, on the side. Oh yeah, just for the record, I have memory serves, I believe it's the female Gelflings, which is the character I'm playing as, um, can only fly, where the males uh, can't. That's if memory serves. Right, basically I've got to use this gun. So I've got to move. And obviously attack this um, thing. Now, it will start off slow, but... After a while, I'm assuming it will get a little bit more intense up. I haven't actually played it all the way through or enough to actually uh, know exactly how this is going to be. But um, hopefully it will. So I was just thinking there. If he was actually reaching zero, there will be not out. Or you... If all your heroes are not out, your party's defeat. Oh, basically, just the same old typical tactics. Right, I'm assuming that she's got um, healing ability to attack enemies. Side allies can. Uh, all right, see, I called it. So we got Suvi. There we go. See, I knew she had healing. Obviously, it consumes MP. Right. I can actually easily do that. Right. I've played enough for XCOM to know how this all works anyway. And I do believe you can actually take cover from behind certain things and that, hence why um, enemies move away and such. But obviously this one's probably going with the story where it's just moving off. Um, I can continue onwards, so I'll make my way to the top of the cavern. Even though ideally I would like to um, kill it and gain experience, but obviously patience I will say um, I do like um, how this game is playing through thus far and such so it's quite a nice little game and such although I still have um, a lot to learn about the game naturally because uh, there is a lot in this game that um, probably goes on and I haven't actually encountered because like I said I only gave it a little try to see if it would work on my OBS system because yeah just been a bit temperamental lately but so far touch wood it's been okay because looking at it and such <laughs> uh, would I recommend this game to anybody um, I would definitely say yeah I recommend it to the fans 100% and I would recommend it to you who are into the um, tactic, um, like the fantasy tactics and such like that. So, or even those who are into like the XCOM sort of like style games and so forth. So, I do highly recommend it. Um, but if you want, to, if you're new to the whole Dark Crystal thing, I suggest watching the actual show first, just to get yourself an idea of it, so that you know what exactly is going on, what the world's about, what the creatures are, who are the girlfriends. Who are the Skeksis and such like that. I believe um, another game that used the Skeksis was um, Grandia as well. Because I remember in one level they actually did use um, bird-like characters that, and called them Skeksis. And I thought that was a nice little callback. But I believe the first time I seen a Skeksi, like uh, movie-wise or something like that, was um, definitely from the Dark Crystal. That was the real first time I saw one. And I believe they come up with it first. Or was it... Um, Another, I don't know. Somebody feel free to correct me who came up with it first. Although I do feel that it was actually um, Dark Crystal who came up with it first. Because um, I don't remember anything else coming up with the um, sketchy race other than the Dark Crystal. 
Because, like I said, I've seen him in Grandia, but obviously Grandia came way after Dark Crystal, naturally. Anyway, we go into the Castle of the Crystal. Now, um, the Castle of the Crystal is where the actual crystal is being held, the actual Dark Crystal itself. And the story behind the Dark Crystal is that it was once whole a long time ago, but it got shattered and it lost a shard and therefore became the Dark Crystal. And two new race formed from it, the Skeksis and the Noble Mystics. The Skeksis are more like the corrupt version, so it's like you've got the yin and yang sign here, sort of thing. You've got the dark side, which is the Skeksis, and then you've got the light side, which is the Mystics. Now, it's going to be hard if you're new to this to know what the Skeksis and Mystics are, what they're all about. The only way I can say is go watch the show, get an understanding of them, because if I was to explain it here, I'd be doing a terrible job and I wouldn't do the actual show any justice. In fact, I believe there's a YouTuber on YouTube that actually explains them best. I might have to link that at some point, if I remember that is. Right, so we are basically playing the Seas 2, so that's going to be... Now this is new territory for me, so I haven't actually played this um, part yet. So I'm not entirely sure what to expect here, but I've got to say, I do like the layout here. That's very nice. And I've said that the character models are done quite nicely, and I also like the little um, portraits and such. I do wish there was um, a little bit more of the, like, you know, cutscenes with, like, the um, comic-style cutscenes and such, but, you know, one can only wish so much. And plus, what do you expect for the price I pay for it and such, you know? It's a nice little cheap game. Um, if you're trying to get it on the Switch or... The console expect to pay a lot more because for some odd reason it's about 80 quid or something like that. I'm not sure what that is in dollars, but I should imagine that's a lot. So I recommend getting the Steam variant if you haven't already. But if you want to get the console variants, then by all means. But just be warned, it might be a steep price. That's just me. The, um, when I was looking it up on the internet and such, I was like, oof. I'll take it that this one's the um, worst one. So, can, no. Not even close enough. So let's go and move. Can I attack you? I have to move. Yeah, I've got, got to get rid of this one because this one has sort of like green stuff around it, so it might be poison. Oh. Yep, it is a venom. Alright. So I'll take it that these ones, do they? They're just hatchlings, so they won't cause poison. Where well, this one is probably an adult. That's therefore making it stronger. Oh, like she said, whoops! My bad! Alright, mm. oh, yeah, it's relying on its venom. Alright, oh, you wanna play rough, do you? Right, this one probably teaches you how to um, deal with poison, so she's got, yeah. So naturally she's got antidote. Well, I'll get into attack. Now, bear in mind, I'm very rusty on my tactics, but I will get better as time goes along. Right, let's see. Do you have... Yes, you do. You could always trust someone to have an antidote. Right, they only do one, so... Ah, she's not so protected compared to he is. But he's vulnerable to poison. Right, let's get rid of this um, poison so and so, because otherwise she's going to be. or he's going to be a problem. Right, now we can deal with the other ones. Yeah, they can't do much damage to him, but they do quite a bit to her. So, I'm going to be a little bit more cautious. So, let's see. You've got Sharpened Blade, which is Grant Attack Up for an eye. Um, Pommel Strike Attack. And inflict that attack down for one turn. All right, so yeah, easy enough. Oh, this one's doing a runner. Chicken. Like I said, the males can't fly. <laughs> unfortunately. That's what makes the females a lot more quicker compared to the males because they can actually fly further. So that would explain why he's a little bit stronger like in defence and that where she's a little bit more less strong in defence because she's more quicker. It's always used to the way the quick ones are faster than their feet but less strong in their defence. Oh, this is a nice little scene and such. I 
I like how they've actually done the actual whole, you know, comic parts and such like that. So it's actually really nice. It also they actually um, captured the sort of like the dark tone of it and all that lot, even with the music. And I do actually remember this scene from the actual show. So again, I will say spoilers, people. So be warned. But um. Yeah, I'm actually quite impressed with how they actually done the little cutscenes like this and that. Even though, like, um, you know, the only little short ones and that, and there's no voice acting there. But sometimes you don't need a voice acting to actually tell a story. Because um, it actually, the images and even the text um, tells it itself. But basically, what the sketches are doing is uh, they're draining the life essence of, like, the girlfriends and other creatures. Mainly girlfriends because the girlfriends' um, essence actually gives. Um, more the um, oh, essence stuff to make the um, well, especially just gets the emperor feel a lot more stronger or immortal, as they would say. Because what it is, they yearn to be um, they yearn to be immortal and living forever. Because in the movie, the actual movie Dark Crystal, again, spoilers, is that. At the beginning, it's announced that they are a dying race, that they are, you know, slowly dying out, and it, they ended up, in the end, being let down to 10 Skeksis. But here's the thing, right? Whatever happens to the Skeksis, and to those of you who ain't seen it, forgive me for the spoilers again, but whatever happens to the Skeksis happens to the Mystics, because the Mystics and Skeksis is, are, you know, they feel each other's pain. They are like basically two souls separated but are meant to be one sort of thing and wherever one feels the other feels so if you were to shoot a Skeksy or a Mystic like in the hand for example the other's going to feel it it's like they're two brothers or something like that right so where else do we go alright oh, so you can own your party for any new equipment that I've acquired Okay, so let's go to the party thing. Um, party roaster next. Select a hero for the job. Obviously, I've got it just him at the moment. Um, right. It's nice that they actually give you this nice little um, tutorial to make it a little bit more easy, especially if you are not familiar with the whole tactics um, era, area. Sorry, I need to say the era there. <laughs> especially if you're not familiar with it and that. Because uh, I remember ages ago, they never used to give um, tutorials like this. They used to go, right, here's the game, play it, find out for yourself. Where now they give you like a little tutorial or sometimes long tutorials and they actually show you how it all works and such. Yeah, I'm trying to go through this as I'm talking and such. Not um, an easy thing when I'm trying to do more than one thing. <laughs> I'm not used to doing more than one thing, I'm used to just doing one thing. So let's see, go uh, to Rusty Sword, what have I got? Oh, that's equipped. What's in here? Change shirt. Um, empty. So mm, he's only a level one, so we ain't got really much. Okay, so we go on to the next one. So we'll be see inside the castle. Uh, Dream first memory, escape the castle, castle of the crystal. Right, in that case. I do hope I don't have to fight Skitsy in this one because they're quite tough. And if I'm not mistaken, this game only uses two t two types of music: the main music and this type of music. If memory serves, that's what I t was heard from the um, review. That is, I'm gonna say I like the design of the um, icon for him in there. That's really pretty good. Pretty cool as well. And that's the thing I like about him, he's, uh, like, he believes that um, his buddy didn't actually do those things and such like that. So he's very loyal. Oh, looks like you're going to have to fight your own kind. But at least you've got um, three others helping you. Okay, so how are we going to go about this? Uh, let's go and move into position... So you're more than enough. Now right, let's get you here. Now let's undo that move. Because I'm assuming that one's going to be more of a range. 
than anything else. And this one's more of a close-up. So, let's go and move. Can I hit you? No, I cannot. So, right. So, we go to the next one, which is... Can I move this? Hold on. There we go. Got the... Um... Oh, I've got more than one. Uh, four, more than three, sorry. So, do these... Oh, is it... Oh, right. So, I ain't got control of anyone else but uh, just this one. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yep, it's in turn. Oh, the Chamberlain. I remember him from the movie mostly doing the famous... Mm -hmm constantly and he's whimpering did used to annoy me at times but over time I got used to it and it was like you know what that's just part of his character so you know let him have that <laughs> right, do I get control these or yes I do so what are you you got entangle bowler throw rock right so do I have nope alright So who are you going to attack first? Obviously, you're not going to take you just sharpening your blade. Fair enough. Oh, I get it. So you have to end turn for each character to control each. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Makes sense. Right. Obviously, these ones are close ranged. Obviously, that one isn't. That one's more of a long range. So if I go for that one at close, it might be a little bit more better. So if I get rid of that one. Right. Now you got to create a burying targets area of three times. Heal ally. Deal damage to an enemy. How far is your attack anyway? Ah, right. So you basically that. Study. No. Right. So, how f let's see. Um, well, that would be the best for it. Should have put the other one back there, but still, doesn't matter. Right. Let's go and get rid of this one. Ooh, I like the, one, uh, the way that one attacked through its uh, twin blades. Right, I don't want to get them too much in. No, I can't do that, so. Can I? No. Right. I've got to be careful about this one, though, because I don't know how much damage... Oh, that is bad. Oh, I fucked up big time there. I fucked up big time. Right. Let's go and... Get the guards to come down here, perhaps. No, wait. Undo that. Oops, there we go. Alright, now let's get moving on this one. Can I throw a rock? Not close enough. But I can do this. Oh, you want to sharpen your blade, do you? Let's get rid of you. Yowza. Now can I... Actually, I've got a better idea. Can I move my... No, I only can move up to there. Damn. Okay, let's cast that. Get rid of these two so that way I can get a good um Nope. Let's try moving just there, but don't go too far because otherwise that will trigger the Chamberlain to come around. And I don't fancy him coming after me. Not yet. Alright, I'm gonna have to wait. Hey to sell, ain't I? Oh, 
Oh, give me a break. Right, let's cast that. Good thing we got a healer. Alright, let's have about. Um, do that for the time being until I can actually get rid of these two. You're going to regret that. Oh, come on. Give me a. No, come on. Bug off. Um. Let's see. Uh, how much knife do you have? I wonder. Right. Let's go and get you healed up. Can I move you? No. So let's undo that. Right, let's try again. Um, got a better idea. Nope, not that one. So much down. Oh shoot! Oh, I'm gonna have to trigger the Chamberlain off. Right, I see about. Don't want to give my. Enemies protection. Just want to give myself. Uh, now how do I deal with this guy? Because he's going to come right at me. Now this undo move. Oops. Wasn't meant to do that. Oh well. Might work in my favour. Uh, get rid of him. Yowza. Oh, come on, let's get you out of the way. There, that's one down. Wait, can we actually use something else? Um, hopefully that will actually keep them down a bit. Just to hold him back a bit. And hopefully he doesn't follow me. Alright, looks like obviously the castle guards there. Oh no! That's not good. That's not good either. No, how do I... T can I... Uh, is there anything I can do? The only thing I can do is try and keep them distracted. Ah. Ow, don't you throw rocks at me. Git. Oh, 
Oh, at least that hurt him a little bit more. Out of here. Something tells me I'm not going to hold out much longer though at this rate. I should just undo that. Yep. No, 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 don't go for me. Ah, oh, curse you. Come on, just hold out a little while longer. Ah, shit, she's been executed. Ooh, nope, I'm holding out. Wait, under move, can I actually... No, I can't do anything. Oh, time for me to move. Lotus. Oh, there he is with his typical, please, please. He's still begging his always. Next week, you know, he'd be giving it. Girlfriend, come back, please. <laughs> Followed by his little whimper as says he's got a skin going on. <laughs> he's such a manipulator though. That's the Chamberlain in a nutshell. I believe each of the skits he has uh, their own little traits and representation. You had one that was a bit of a manipulator, one that was bloodthirsty, one that was a bit of a scientist, and etc. 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 So yeah. Um anyway, where we gotta go to next? Oh, straight to there then. But anyway, I'm going to end it here now. But I hope you enjoyed what I've done so far. And I apologise for uh, messing up on the... Um, escaping from the um, castle of the crystal there. Because <laughs> that was terrible. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed what I've done so far. And I will do more of this in the, um, in the short... What, bleh, in the future, sorry. I can't get my words out tonight. But until then, you all take it easy. And peace out.